course it's going to scare, you know, all these fast food companies, right. rightly so, because they know their food isn't even real food. Most of it is all chemicals. Really? Yes. Oh, so why are right. we voluntarily eating all these pesticides that we know are carcinogenic? All right. Well, I'm not going to go well. on the food police thing with you. Boy, the hits just keep on coming, right? Uh, Dieter Rahm is whooping it up over new push to make fast food companies pay up. A group of lawyers want 16 state attorneys general to join their fight and make Ronald McDonald and friends pay for the soaring cost of obesity. Well, that chance, because take a look at this guy. Does he look obese to you? Teacher John Cisna has been sticking to a McDonald's only diet for 150 days. He's lost 50 pounds. He balances out with the good stuff, all the stuff. Uh, John now wants to make his case and his big beef with going after big food. John, good to have you back. What do you make of this? Well, Neil, I'll tell you what, when I saw the clip last night and, the, and saw Mr. McDonald and, and what he was trying to do, I actually had to watch that twice because I thought, what am I missing in this? And then after the second time, I realized I wasn't missing anything. I think Mr. McDonald is missing a lot. I think one of the things that Mr. McDonald and his colleagues feel, fail to realize is what the problem behind obesity and weight gain is. I mean, I don't see, even if he was successful at this, how that's going to help the fat people of the world like myself. You know, uh, the last few years of my life, I've been obese. And, you know, during that obesity, it hasn't been due to McDonald's. It hasn't been due to, to restaurants. It hasn't been due to grocery stores. It's been due to me. I mean, it's my choices that I have found out that had made me obese. And now in the last five months, now that I've gotten healthier and lost weight, it's due to me. It's not due but to it's McDonald's. Also it's due not to due you. to grocery no, no, that's stores. A very it's good point, my John. choices. It's a very good point. But I want to make clear to people who don't know your story. You lost this weight at McDonald's. In other words, you tried all the things that are available at McDonald's. So describe to me what a typical day's uh, menu would be. Well, why don't I describe to you one of my favorite menus, because in the second half of this experiment, which will be over March 14th, my typical day for breakfast, I'll have two egg white delights, a bowl of their oatmeal, and a 1% milk. And then for lunch, I'll have one of their bacon ranch salads, uh, two bags of their apples, uh, and a fruit and yogurt parfait. And my favorite meal at night is the uh, grilled chicken wrap meal, which has the grilled chicken wrap, has french fries, and has a drink with it. So that would be a typical meal that I've been eating for the last 150 days. But the point was, and why you mentioned it now, and as you did then, and I r was reminding uh, my guest yesterday, is that there are options. You have other options. Now, if you want to just try the, the double quarter pounders and, and the fries and the milkshakes and just that, just as if you did the same at home, uh, yeah, you know, you're going to get fat. But life is about making choices and, and things in moderation. You've lost a lot of weight doing that. But lawyers don't seem to get that. Or actually, maybe they do. And it doesn't matter. Well, you know what, what I would love to ask the lawyers is to, to get their take, even if they win this, and let's say they get the 16 states, and one of them, by the way, is Iowa, and I hope Tom, I hope Tom Miller is smart enough not to drink from this Kool-Aid, but let's say that he is successful with it, and he gets his $300 billion, or whatever it is, and they take their $100 billion for their attorney fees, how does that help? the obesity problem how does that help the overweight problem you see what they don't realize is is that they're just enabling it even more by doing this saying no 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 we're not smart right. enough to make our own choices we have to make them for you so you know what yep. we're gonna do this but in the meantime we are still gonna be eating what we want to do okay. and we are not going to change our behavior which is the key for us to getting healthy bingo bingo bingo, bingo. John it's great seeing you again well thank you Neil I appreciate the time